Very good morning to you. I've just had to put the processor gate quite high, so I'm going to apologise at the start now for the audio. Um, I've not got the overhead camera running at the moment. Um, there's no point. This box really doesn't show anything at this point. So what have we got on the bench? We have got a little FM transmitter which came from China. And it's currently set up to transmit into the box up here which you'll see me switch to the other camera. Okay, so 13 millivolts. 13 millivolts of audio to drive this transmitter cleanly to 3 watts. That's not a lot of audio at all. Now you can hear a little bit of the uh, overhead. But again, I can sweep that through the frequency range. That buzzing noise is actually the power supply. Um, if I connected it to a battery, it would, uh, it would actually be clean. So it just shows how dirty this power supply is. I really must put some more filtering on it, I think. Um, but yeah, so there we go. Um, that's the outsides of the box. That's what it looks like. It's, uh, yeah, not very big at all. Four and a half inch or four inches, 100 millimetres by two and a half inches or 65 millimetres. And although it says it's CE marked, um, I don't think there's a regulatory body in Europe that will let anybody have a three watt transmitter on FM in the broadcast band. Um, so, yeah, let's take it apart and have a look at what's inside it and uh, see if we can turn it down a bit. I don't think we need three watts for what I'm doing on the bench. Right, OK, so now we're back again. Um, it's disconnected from the uh, test set and I've reset the audio so it should sound a little bit better to you now. Right, I've taken the front and rear panels off and there's four screws, one in each corner, front and rear. And it's a single circuit board that slides out of the extrusion. Um, standard Chinese box section extrusion um, with mounting rails for a PCB, doesn't matter which way, which way up it is or even if you throw it on the floor. Um, then let's have a look at what we've got here. So um, hopefully I can uh, focus in. I might try and get you as close as I can. Um, I have changed camera lens for this. So that's what the board looks like. Um, trying to keep the shiny reflections out the way. And sorry for the headphones, but um, I'm checking the audio level as, as I'm doing this so that uh, it doesn't sound too rotten to you. Um, so yeah, we have a standard surface mount PCB. We have a very badly soldered resistor here, a capacitor. It's actually blown off the board and has been soldered there rather than across the two pads. So there's one obvious thing that I may well correct. Um, apart from that, there really isn't much on this at all. Um, let me just get the magnifying glass and see what the crystal frequency is. 7.6. Okay, so 7.6 megahertz crystal. You have here a 16 volt capacitor, so that pretty much tells you that uh, the thing's designed to run off a maximum of 12 volts. Um, yeah, apart from that solder glitch, it's a standard BNC connector. Um, these are your filters. I suppose you could move these around to tune it up or whatever. The RF device is on the back here and it is a... breaking it off the board. Have they taken the numbers off it? 
Yeah, they've taken the numbers off it. There are no numbers on there. So let's just bend that back down. And, and that's just an interference fit to the, the casing so that, um, yeah, obviously if you were gonna mount this properly, you would put that with a, an insulated washer and heat sink compound and everything else and put a proper heat sink on it. But um, yeah, um, let me just uh, touch up the solder where I, I moved that so it doesn't break off when I put it back in. And we can also get rid of some of this lead-free rubbish. There we go, so that's in there. The rest of the soldering, well, you've, you've got a, a bodge wire here coming across, which is coming from this inductor, you could just got this inductor here, which is coming off the power supply. They've, they've flowed solder in there. So they've taken a, a component out to bend that capacitor down over the top. And um, what's the value on that? Um, it's 105 centigrade capacitor, which is pretty good. 2200 microfarads. So a pretty reasonable capacitor. Um, 2851 as a looks like a driver transistor. But uh, yes, um, on the whole, uh, not a bad piece of kit. So um, I'm looking for my tweezers now. I did have them here earlier. Typical messy bench, isn't it? You can never remember where you've put anything once you've moved things around. Um, it's probably buried. Um, I'll leave that. I'll leave that capacitor. It's not hurting it. It's only another decoupler. So there we go. That's the inside of this uh, little transmitter. And um, yeah, I'm going to take the film off the uh, LED display so that um, it does look fairly reasonable. There we go. Hopefully that was quite interesting for you. Um, if you like this, let me know. Um, if there's more you want to see, um, yeah, we'll give it a go and see what we can do for you. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.